Growing up from a family of preachers, I learned at an early age how to address all of my problems through nonviolent measures. My father, Martin Luther King Sr., gave me my first job being his assistant at the Ebenezer Baptist Church. This also gave me awareness that violence is not the answer. If you want to prove a point, use your voice through speech and reasoning. Growing up, I was able to attend college at Crozer Theological Seminary in Pennsylvania, and later I was allowed to receive my Ph.D. in theology at Boston University. Even allowed a college education, I felt the negative effects of segregation, and I knew that someone had to stand up to make a change. I became a minister at the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery after college. On December 2, 1955, newspapers stated that a middle-aged woman was arrested for refusing to give up her bus seat, and the woman was Rosa Parks. This enraged me, and results of this incident, I looked for a way to stand up in retaliation. Along with my friends Ralph, Edgar, and Bayard, we organized a group to boycott the bus service system in Montgomery, relying on nonviolent methods. I was arrested for this boycott, which I still do not understand up until this day because no one was put into danger, but I am proud that in the end I stood up for African American rights by using tactics taught by my parents. If you want something done right, your voice is stronger than violent actions. Now that you know the beginning of the civil rights movement through my eyes, you can choose how you want to view it, but I am just letting my voice be heard.